here is a carefully worded reply from the authors of multinational live lqts study among individuals diagnosed with phenotypic and or genotypic lqts who were risk assessed and treated in experienced centers lqts associated cardiac event rates were low and similar between those exercising vigorously and those not exercising vigorously live lqts study lifestyle and exercise in the long qt syndrome was funded by the national institutes of health and enrolled individuals between the ages of 8 to 60 years with phenotypic and or genotypic long qt syndrome 37 sites from five countries participated during a period of about 4 years vigorous exercise was defined as more than or equal to 6 metabolic equivalents for more than 60 hours per year physical activity and clinical events surveys every 6 months for 3 years with follow up was completed in february 2022 composite and point included sudden death sudden cardiac arrest ventricular arrhythmia treated by an implantable cardioverter defibrillator and likely arrhythmic syncope events were adjudicated by a blinded clinical events committee survival status of those with incomplete follow up was ascertained by searching national death index of the 1413 participants two thirds were females 13% were below the age of 18 years and 35% between the ages of 18 and 25 years implantable defibrillators were the in one fourth of the group 90% were genotype positive and 49% had lqt1 91% were treated with beta blockers left cardiac sympathetic denervation and a implantable cardioverter defibrillator interestingly 52% participated in vigorous exercise of which 55% were 